All right, let's bring in the, uh, the fox card. We're here. We're excited. Back in Chicago. The response has been fantastic. Uh, who's got the first question? I don't have any extra pressures. Honestly, it, it makes me feel more comfortable being at home, uh, being surrounded by people that I'm familiar with. It, it makes me feel more comfortable. If anything, it's going to make me perform better on Saturday night. I got one thing on my mind right now, and that's, that's my fight with Eric. I'm not looking past him at all. He's, he's a tough fighter. Of course, I want to title shot. You know, I'm here to fight the best. I'm going to be the best. And uh, But, you know, I'm, I'm going to do my work Saturday, and we'll, we'll see where it goes after that. Um, so I thought about fighting him for a long time, but it was never confirmed or negotiated or even mentioned. So for him to call me out saying, you know, I'm scared or something like that, it's like, where the hell did this come from? You know, I'm hurt, I can't fight. So when the contract signed, we're a couple days away, I'm excited to, to solve it. You know, just talking enough shit to where he finally said, all right, you know what, fuck it, let's go, let's do it. So, I mean, that was the plan. I'm here, I'm ready, I'm excited to fight. You know, I've been playing for a long time, and I've been excited, and I think people out there were definitely going to put on here for sure. Just understanding that if I, if I don't finish the fight with a knockout or a submission, I better be up on the judge scorecard and then fight ends. Uh, Glove is a tough guy. Um, he hasn't been beaten in a while, so that's, that's, that does something for your confidence and stuff like that. Uh, he's really good on the ground, and everybody knows that's my weakest. You know, this is the biggest fight of my career, no doubt about it. You know, I mean, the, the biggest name and the, and the, and the biggest co-main event in UFC. And, uh, I'm going to do my fight, and I'm going to try and knock him out. Yeah. Do, do you think he's fought anyone as tough as you? No, hell no. He never faced nobody like that. Had a chance to talk to Dana while you're here in Chicago. No, I haven't. Uh, no, I have I can call right now. Will you try to talk to we, we him? Talk, we talked before, man. Me and Dana, you know what I'm saying? We were a little, little stand point right now. It's time for me to focus on my fight, not focus on anything else. Dana and I, we already got a fight. We good. We got that cool. Do you have to that? Yeah. The DVD, Rampage Greatest Hits. If they would have just, you know what I'm saying, hooked me up a little bit and even told me they was making a DVD, I could have helped promote it. I could have made a little, a little money off that. And then they signed with the company making a toy. And then the toy looks stupid. I don't get no toy. And the, the, I don't even get toys. They even give to my kids. They don't even tell me. They got stuff about me I don't even know. Person about there, I said, you know, I'm, I'm better than this guy. I just took my, um, I showcased my skills in the octagon on Saturday night. Well, I only get one. I'm gonna make sure I can try to make him make more mistakes on iron. That's all I'm gonna really do. To be able to, to get in and out of my punches, a lot faster than I can throw them. So I gotta make sure I can time them correctly and just pick them apart with that. Uh, you know, I'm very confident in my training, and I'm gonna go out there and just fight Saturday night. Greatest basketball player of all time? Jordan. Uh, deep dish or thin crust? Deep, deep. Ketchup on a hot dog or not? No. Sears or Willis Tower? What? Oh, it's 71! And his opponent!